Uh, hi guys. So I'm here, like I said, I was going to be here keeping you guys updated on this battle. I don't even want to call it a journey right now. It's a freaking battle. It's it's a battle. It's a battle. That's what it is. It's It's frustrating. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep trying this before I stop because I know how hard it can be and I don't I just I don't think I have that much fight left in me I really don't I don't know I, I'm asking myself these questions like how far am I willing to take it this time what's going to be my my threshold how many cycles am I going to try before I just finally say I'm done um I don't know I, I don't think I'm going to be doing this I just don't think I'm mentally up for it I really I'm mentally exhausted of the BS I'm mentally exhausted of the BS and the mixed signals that my body is giving me I'm I'm tired of the internet I'm tired of the library I'm tired of the research I'm tired of my OCD freaking I have to find out what's going on I I am completely completely frustrated with this whole fertility crap I really am I I'm just so over it and I'm so over it because I know how <laughs> how hard it was and I know how depressed I was and I know how frustrating it was and I remember the sleepless nights and it's like it's all that's creeping up again in the anxiety and the two-week wait and then the freaking system check and the comparing notes and it's just I'm just I'm tired of it <laughs> so I guess I didn't even give you a reason on why I'm ranting Today is 11 DPO and I, I, this was the time last year that I checked and I was fortunate enough to be pregnant and the test came back positive. Well, lo and behold, yesterday, it seems like now it started off light where pinkish where I'm like, oh, okay, this can be a good thing. This might be the implantation bleeding and you know, this is, this is a good sign, you know, it's light and it's pink and hey, it's a good sign. It's great. I read my body right. I got this one right. Well, later on that day, it got heavier. That's not a good sign. And it's still like, it's still on. Like officially I am 11 DPO, but on cycle day one, I'm counting this as a cycle because I've had to go from panty liners to a pad. TMI. Listen, if it's too much for you, then you shouldn't be on my channel anyways. If you don't like it, I know there's some dudes on here for whatever reason. You know, it, it, if it's too much, then find another channel, I guess. I don't know. But I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. I cried yesterday and I had to sit down and I'm asking myself and I'm still asking myself, how bad do I want another child? I'm so mad at myself for wanting this. I am. Like, I'm so mad at myself for even wanting this. And now I'm, I'm kind of like, how bad do I want this? How bad do you want another child? When, when are you going to stop? Are you going to stop? What's going to be your breaking point? How many cycles are you going to try? How many different things are you going to try? How many books are you going to read? How many forums are you going to get on? How many more system checks are you going to have to do? I just, I, you know, I don't even know. I, I don't know. I don't know. And then it's, it's also what I put my FOB through last time. It took us forever to get pregnant. Mind you, you guys know that I started off this fertility journey with a different partner. My partner of 10 plus years in it just got to be too much for us. And now it's, I'm going, you know, after I kind of switch players halfway through the game towards the end and got the father of my child now. And he ended up getting the tail end of it. <laughs> he ended up getting the tail end of how frustrating this journey is just for him to just donate and on a schedule. <laughs> So, so far he's pretty cool with it, but you know, mind you, he's had the break from having William and it hasn't been a consecutive year now of trying. He's had a break. So he got pregnant and he's got a break and he was kind of off the hook with my schedule and my nagging. 
and he's on the hook again and he's only been on the hook for one cycle and I thought I got this cycle down I mean I was I had the ovulation pains and the positive tests uh, it's got to be egg quality guys system check it's got to be egg quality I know I ovulated all right I'm 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 almost positive I ovulated. Okay, I don't want to say I'm 100% because there's no such thing as really 100%. But I'm more than likely sure I ovulated. I'm more I I'm more than likely sure that I caught that egg. I'm more than likely sure that the egg had no problem traveling down my fallopian tubes or at least one of them, at least the left side, I think is the viable side, the right side. I don't know if I'm just not as sensitive to it or if if it's still clogged or I, I don't know what's going on with the right side. I know with the left side, I'm a little bit more sensitive to it. So I don't know. Um, can I officially call this cycle a waste? I don't want to say it was a waste because it's a learning experience. It's a learning experience. It's not a complete waste. <laughs> but it's a failed cycle. I mean, a little spotting is one thing, but going into a full-blown menstrual cycle is kind of, you know, that's not really what you want to see. No woman really wants to see that if you're trying to conceive. Although it does mean that you you get to try again, I guess that's a good thing is you get to try again. So I'm 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 trying to be positive. I'm trying to take my own advice with um moving forward in planning next cycle. What are you going to do differently? What are you going to do differently, Tasha? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know you too. I don't, I don't know. The only thing I can really think about is thinking that it's my egg quality and just strengthen my egg quality and not really worry about my ovulation. Now, I don't know because my, my, my luteal phase was so short that I have no idea if and when I'm going to be ovulating on time this cycle. I don't even know why I got screwed up. I don't, what would cause that? Like, what would cause your cycle to start so freaking early? Oh, and then I'm, I'm getting nervous because I had that one time last year that I had like a two months of no period, no cycle or anything. Like, it was two months of just no ovulating, no nothing. Like it was just, it just kept going. It was two months, it was like 60 days or 45 days. It was long. <laughs> so I like, I'm going through all this doubt right now and all this, you know, what the, what, what are you going to do? What really, what are you going to do? I, I, I really don't, I'm going to try this cycle. I'm just going to go one cycle ahead of time. I'm not going to pre-think it. Do one one step at a time. And if I feel like just stopping, then I'll just let you guys know. Like, I'm done. I'm done. Um, William will not be getting another biological sublink from me. So I'm not willing to say I'm done right now. I did order more OPKs. The cheap ones. The little stick ones. Um, uh, and I... I'm going to go home, I'm going to take a hot shower, and I'm going to do the estrogen again. That's got the soy and the black cohosh to kind of regulate my system and get that started. Uh, and I'll probably start the DHEA up again. And um, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm tired of trying to be my own specialist but I guess you are you have to be you have to be your own specialist in a situation like this I don't trust anyone else to do it <laughs> I don't trust the doctors to do it so I, I guess I have to do it I have to be my own body's advocate freaking all that stuff and I feel like such an idiot for telling my mom and my brother and my kids that I was pregnant now I get to tell them that I'm unpregnant, which I don't think they really care. You know, they're not going to be like, you know, it's, it happens. 
I don't think they're disappointed. The kids really are, are kind of like, you have enough kids, mom. You don't need any more. <laughs> um, and my mom's, I don't know. She won't be disappointed because she knows I'm not done trying. But I think if I told her I wasn't going to try anymore, she might be a little disappointed. Because... I think she's already gotten her hopes up for another grandkid. <laughs> so I think she'd be disappointed. Not saying that she is a deciding factor in whether I continue this battle or not. But um, I'm not ready to quit yet. I'm just frustrated. I'm really pissed off. I'm really pissed off. And I, I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I, I don't know. I, 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 don't e I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, maybe the egg just wasn't viable. That's the only thing that I can think of was that the egg was just not viable enough to implant. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it got fertilized. So I, I'm at this crossroads of being, maybe it's nature's way of saying, okay, that was a bad egg. You know, try again with the better egg. Versus saying, you know what? <laughs> the universe is screwing with me again. <laughs> so that's where I'm at, man. This the cycle the cycle's a disappoint it's a surprise disappointment. It's a surprise disappointment. It's a disappointment. But every failed cycle is a disappointment, right? Some type of disappointment with it. Oh, and I've already started pre-baby hoarding again. Again? Yes, again. I've started. In pink stuff this time because I'm trying to pink sway. So I, I mean, my, my mind is fast forwarding like a year from now and my body's just like, slow down, Tasha. We're not there yet. <laughs> like, slow down. And I'm hiding these little girly things oh god from the kids and just telling them oh yeah I sold this and I sold that so I don't know I'm, I'm all over the place right now but uh I, I guess today is cycle day one I have no idea what the hell's going on guys I really don't I don't know what the hell's going on my body's screwing with me again <laughs> It was a, I've never had this happen before, I guess. Not, not at 11 DPO getting my period. That's never happened. So I guess it's not, it's not a complete loss. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm taking notes. And anytime you try again, you know, I'm making plans to try again. So that's a good thing. But I just, I'm just sitting back and enjoying the ride. Kind of like, okay, well, I have no control over this cycle right now. <laughs> kind of like on the roller coaster and just kind of like, well, let's see. Uh, let's see where this takes us now. <laughs> let's see what happens because <laughs> I'm lost. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to enjoy the ride and count the days, I guess. I don't know. I mean, there's really nothing else I can do. I mean, I'm not quitting. I'm just taken back. So... That's where I'm at. It's cycle day 11. I'm sorry. Uh, cycle day one at 11, at, at exactly 11 DPO. And I'm not even going to bother testing because I'm, like I said, I'm, 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 I'm bleeding. So freaking not even going to go through that. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, on a plus note, I'm not bloated anymore. So I really don't. I, now I really, really don't know what's going on. <laughs> My back still hurts, but maybe it's the way I'm sleeping. Who the hell knows? I don't know. All right, so that's 15 minutes of me just ranting about me not knowing what the hell's going on with my own body. Uh, that's a heads up what's happening in Tasha's world. I have nothing positive to say at the end of this video because I'm pissed off. <laughs> I don't know what to, I'm, I, I don't, I don't, 
I, I guess just I, I'm happy that at least I get to try again there I want to put something positive on there I get to try again this cycle yep get to try again this cycle so and I still got a partner that's willing to try it with me so I guess that's a good thing too because I already I told him I'm like yeah I'm not pregnant this cycle so uh, I'll have your uh, calendar coming up in a few days of uh, you know days you shouldn't be drinking coffee and all that other great stuff he's just like all right I miss you kind of like all right I miss you too <laughs> I don't know. I'm pissed off right now. I have no, I like, I, I feel like I'm being really selfish right now. Like I just, I don't I just want to be pregnant and get this started. <laughs> I want to complete my family with my final child. I really do. All right, guys. So that's, that's my video. Um, that's where I'm at. And, uh, that's the end of it. Bye.